Now with a look into sports, here's Cassandra Daly. Thanks, Ashley. The Humberhawks men's volleyball team hosted their annual Humber Cup tournament at the North Campus Gym last weekend. It was an intense weekend for volleyball teams across the province who traveled to Humber and played best three out of five sets. The tournament consisted of 10 different university and college varsity teams all going head to head with hopes to make the most out of their preseason. The Windsor Lancers defeated their OUA division rivals, the Western Mustangs in the finals, playing a total of four out of five sets. Fourth year setter for the Lancers, Noah Langley was named tournament MVP for the second straight year. Langley says they have worked very hard leading up to this tournament and he is glad it has all paid off. We've been practicing a lot over the past couple of weeks over our defensive systems and our offensive systems. Head coach for the Lancers, James Gravel, said he's proud of the team for pushing through. We wanted to uh, survive. We had six matches in three days, uh, three out of five sets. So we wanted to make sure that everybody got a lot of playing time and that, you know, we just uh, survived. The Windsor Lancers captured the championship title for their third year in a row. Owen Kelly, setter for the Mustangs, says he is very impressed with the outcome of this tournament. Overall, we're pretty happy with our gameplay. We only lost one game in the finals, so we're happy going into the season. This weekend was a great insight of what the 2019 season has to offer. After a grueling back and forth two hours and 14 minutes, Naomi Osaka has beaten Bianca Andreescu two sets to one in the China Open quarterfinals. This ends Andreescu's incredible winning streak at 17 consecutive match wins, which includes her title wins of the 2019 Rogers Cup and the 2019 Still. US Open. What made this quarterfinal game all the more exciting was this was the first clash between the two of Women's Tennis Association rising stars. Another reason this match was so special was that it fe featured the winners of the past three hardcourt Grand Slams, with Osaka winning the 2019 Australia Open and the 2018 US Open. Osaka will move on and face the defending China Open champion Caroline Wozniacka of Denmark in the semifinals. The sports drink ma manufacturer BioSteel has a new high on life. The, the, marijuana camp, the marijuana company Canopy Growth has purchased a 72% stake in the corporation. Canopy Growth CEO Mark Zakulin revealed the main reason for this purchase was to offer CBD-infused sports drinks as soon as the first quarter of 2020. Unlike THC and cannabis, CBD is non-intoxicating and can treat many health-related problems including inflammation, pain, anxiety, and insomnia. One of the biggest supporters for this new sports drink is BioSteel co-founder and retired Montreal Canadien NHL star Mike Camilleri. Camilleri said he wishes he found CBD way sooner in his career and the use of it in the NHL. Humans aren't the only ones going bananas for the Rugby World Cup. A 13-year-old monkey named Goro in the city of Oita, Japan has given his predictions on who he thinks will win the Rugby World Cup. Goro predicted that New Zealand, Australia, and Fiji will come out on top against their opponents, Canada, Uruguay, and Wales. It seems like he may be right as the New Zealand All Blacks crushed Canada 63-0 on Wednesday. We'll see if Goro is still correct as Australia Wallabies will face Uruguay tomorrow at 1.15 a.m. and Fiji will face Wales next Wednesday, October 9th at 5.45 a.m. That's your sports update. Here's Paige McGowan with your three-day weather forecast. Thank you, Cassandra. It's a little chilly today, but the sun is trying to peek through those clouds and it looks like it will continue to be that way again tomorrow. So if you're going out this weekend, bring a coat just in case. And now for your three day weather forecast. According to Environment Canada, there will be a mix of sun and cloud today with a high of 13 degrees dropping down to an almost freezing two degrees tonight. Saturday will only reach a high of 14 with a low of 11 and there will be a 40% chance of showers in the evening continuing into Sunday. However, it will be warmer on Sunday with a high of 19 degrees. There is a 60% chance of showers with a low of 9 in the evening. Monday will have a 30% chance of showers during the day and will reach a high of 16 degrees and a low of 6 at night. If you've been craving a couple of cozy days in, now would be the perfect time. Stay warm and enjoy the weekend. Back to Ashley in the studio. That's all for today. I'm Ashley Ratcliffe. Remember, you can head to humbernews.ca anytime for all the day's news and much more. And of course, you can also follow us on Twitter. Humber News is written and produced by students in the Journalism Postgrad program. We'll see you again next time.